Assalamu alaikum students and welcome to Alama Iqbal Open University's series of MBA programs the course title for which is Management Information System. Uh, students in today's unit we are going to study e-commerce and the internet which is also known as electronic commerce. I'm your host Komal and with me at the subject expert Mr. Tanveer Ansari. Welcome sir. Thank you. So sir please tell us uh, basically what is internet and the electronic commerce. Well, students, internet. Nobody, there is. I don't think there is anybody who is not aware of the internet. Now, what we are going to discuss today is how this uh, trading and commerce is being used through the internet. Okay, so this is uh, the whole unit all about. And the first thing that I'm going to ask is that what is the role and importance of the internet in business? Okay, the role of internet in e-business can never be emphasized. Okay, can never be overemphasized rather. So we are using it in supply chain management and we are using it in dealing with the customers and with our suppliers. So we'll be discussing various aspects of its role okay. in detail. Okay. So the first thing uh, I believe is in the communication where its yes. importance is emphasized. Please tell us how it is there. Well, th since the internet is very fast uh, media, okay, so communication has become tremendously fast through the internet. Exactly. And that's why the business manager and the business fraternity is using a full, taking full advantage of the business through the internet. Yes. There's another thing which is called the publishing and uh, most of you must uh, have been involved in the blogs and things like that on the internet. So how is it related and how is it very important? Yeah, th basically there are four, basic, uh, four main areas where the internet is being used. The first uh, communication that we just discussed and there are publishing and the customer support and the research work. Okay. okay. Various trading partners and these manufacturers, they are using their technical manuals and their various uh, uh, designs and technical drawings and manuals, they, are, they put it on the internet okay. so that their suppliers and their customers can mm -hmm. use it. Okay. And then in the customer support, the, uh, the uh, connectivity with the customer has become tremendously easy. Okay. Like you have emails and then you have video conferencing and you have online classes and workshops okay. and all that. Even there is a new thing that has been introduced now. Like you used to have the seminars, now we have the uh, what we call webinars. Exactly, exactly. And similarly, in research work, you just sit on the computer and you go, go to the Google and you can research on anything. You have tons of material to search through. And there are so many search engines that when you give their references, they are going, you can quote them easily in your researches as well. Yes. And they can be published as well. So there is, uh, earlier it used to be that you just have to refer the books for uh, your thesis or your researches. Everything, but now internet is, is a very yes. supportive kind of a medium. So what is the next thing? Next thing is how the business fraternity is taking advantage of this internet. Okay. 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 So this is increased credibility. Yes. Definitely. Like you want to buy something, you go to the website of that product, and you order it on, and you receive it without any problem, without having to interact with anybody. Okay. And there is increased exposure. Mm -hmm. Like you look for one thing, and you get tens of similar things. Exactly. And then you can even match that which brand is better than the other. Be better than the so other. There are all the specifications exactly. available on the internet. And wide range of choices as well. Wide range of choices. Exactly. And you have greater quantity and quality of inquiries. Exactly. This is what we discussed that you ask for one thing and you get tens. Exactly. And instead of uh, accessing through a middleman, you are accessing directly, directly. the manufacturer. And the next one is my favorite, sir, which deals with the sales and everything. Sales and everything. <laughs> and every girl wants more and more of the sales and shoppings and everything. Even from your point of view, even there are boutiques, they, are, they display their designs on the computer. Okay. Uh, on the Facebook, they have their own pages. Exactly. So you can and this business is flourishing like anything. Girls and uh, even men sitting at home can flourish their business just by publishing it on the internet, social networking, yes. website, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. And they can earn money through it. They are doing it. Yeah, they are doing it, exactly. Uh, using internet on your business has tremendously re reduced your uh, cost. Exactly. Like you don't have to public, you don't, not ha you don't have to print brochures or you don't have to write letters or, you know, flyers and all that. And so uh, again, the middleman, as we all know, have, you, you have eliminated the middleman. Exactly. You're saving on the printing cost, then you have reduced your telephone calls or postage stamps. 
And by reducing all these things, basically you have increased the green rating of the world. Mm. Like, you know, you are not using uh, gar your, your car. Exactly. And, and you're not using paper, papers, paperless environment paper, paperless as well. environment. So <laughs> the, it has also impact on your green world. Exactly, exactly. Very true, sir. So what is the next thing that you're going to teach us? Yes, the, that is called interactive marketing. Okay. This is a new concept after the internet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, before the internet, and uh, anything that you came to contact with, about the newspaper mm -hmm. or the magazines. Yes, true. Okay. Yes. So there, that, that was one way communication. You go, you read the uh, ad, and you decide you buy it or not. Exactly. But true. through with the help of the internet, now it is called interactive marketing that you directly communicate with the manufacturer, mm -hmm. and you can even uh, get your uh, get the design altered to your requirement. Exactly. Exactly. And you you give your feedback mm -hmm. that this is uh, this is right or this should be that way. So that exactly. is called of interactive marketing. Okay. So. According to your choice, you can directly tell what do you want instead of just relying on their uh, samples uh, and everything. Relying on their samples. Mm. So they have designed interactive marketing as a customer-focused marketing okay. process that is based on using the internet, mm -hmm. intranet and extranet that we'll be discussing later, okay. to establish two-way transaction between a business and its customers. Okay. Okay. Through chat and discussion groups and web forms. Instant messaging. Questionnaires. Exactly. And even there are questionnaires exactly. and surveys that you like this and you don't like this. You can say, uh, you can even reply in yes or no, or you can have the quantitative, quantitative sort of analysis as well. Yes. And according to one research, this interactive marketing has uh, increased your sales by 12 times even. Okay. So there is a very strong link and bonding between the customers and the internet. That mm. is something that we have been experiencing since the past yes. century. And the, this uh, internet has not only facilitated the business fraternity, it has also facilitated the customer side. Definitely. And the customers stay updated. Mm -hmm. Stay updated means uh, the moment the, the, the a product is changed, it is displayed on the internet. Yes, and, and you get and to know. And you get to know it. Exactly. There is new product or there is some change in the pricing. Mm -hmm. Similarly, customers can compare online that you just that mentioned. That I just told yes. about. Yes, exactly. And then the, the, there is clear product information. That product. means there is no middleman. Exactly. Okay, then and you, di you directly get the information and the pricing uh, from the manufacturer. True, through transparent the internet. pricing. Transparent, which is there. That, that we call it also transparent pricing. Then you can track your purchase. Okay. Track your purchase means that you can p place your order and you can see if your order is processed or not and exactly. when are you getting the product. When is it going to reach When is it going to reach. Exactly. And the simplest thing is that you can do all this in the comfort of your house, yeah. even in the comfort of your bed through an iPad. Exactly. You can order the thing and you get receive it the next day. And it's a 24 shopping sort of a thing. You don't have to worry that the mall is going to close at 8 p.m. You just have to sit at your home and order the things that you want to. Yes. The ladies are really going to be happy about <laughs> it, sir. <gasps> okay, sir, what is the next thing? This, uh, how this whole thing is bring about, okay? Uh, that is where we are going to uh, discuss the fundamental concepts in the scope of the food. Okay. So we just discussed the scope and the fundamental concepts, okay? Okay. So the concept is, first is what is e-commerce technologies? Exactly. E-commerce technologies comprise of every anything and everything okay. that is used to bring about your this whole transaction. Transaction means uh, from placing your order to receiving the order by the manufacturer and until the time the, your product is received, this is called one transaction. Okay. Okay. So anything and everything that is being used to bring about one transaction is, uh, are the, is called electronic uh, e-commerce technologies. True. And that is comprised of all the hardware and software mm -hmm. used to bring about a transaction okay. is included in e-commerce technologies. True. So, sir, uh, there is this thing that I want to ask. What is basically a transaction? Because when we are talking about e-commerce and when we are talking about all these things happening, how they basically happen, how we bring about this transaction? A cycle of placing your order, okay, and receiving by order by the manufacturer, and until the time you get your order or you get your product, is okay. called one complete, this one is one complete, complete cycle, is one complete transaction. Okay, okay. And anything and everything that is uh, uh, used in bring about your, your transaction is called e-commerce technologies. Okay, that, that means it involves the hardware, the software, software and anything that is included. Included, is okay. called, called e-commerce technologies. And then there are categories of uh, e-commerce. All right. 
फर्स्ट इज बी टू सी बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर कैटेगरी मीन्स दैट यू यू बाय समथिंग ऑन ऑनलाइन सो देर इज यू आर द कंज्यूमर ऑन वन एंड एंड द मैनुफेक्चर इज ऑन द अदर एंड दैट इज बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर देन देर इज बिजनेस टू बिजनेस दैट मीन्स वन देर इज वन मैनुफैक्चर and there are his partners and his uh, suppliers or marketers they mm. are connected to each other okay and they are transacting each other okay, okay. that is business to business that is business to business and the third is very interesting that is consumer to consumer okay like you must have heard there is there are websites uh, like olx or like ebay mm-hmm. where people can advertise okay so the advertiser is also the consumer okay they can advertise the, the item they want to sell mm-hmm. and you, and you are the second consumer that you go to that site and you place uh, and you place your order or oh, sorry you purchase it from there mm-hmm. so the, you are also consumer okay so because this because on these websites like you have just mentioned olx if you go to buy something all of a sudden you remember that you need to sell something as well yes. so at the same time you have become a customer as well, a consumer, consumer yes. as well as a purchaser so the one who has placed that is also consumer and the one who is who buying, buying is also consumer a consumer that is very easy to handle now sir so there are some certain essential processes when we talk of electronic uh, yes. commerce so uh, to conduct a commerce uh, e-commerce on the internet there are certain processes th- that needs to be taken okay okay first is access control and security okay that you want to make sure as a manufacturer you want to make sure the person who has placed an order is the right person exactly. maybe he could be a fraud he, he could yeah. be a cheat he yes. could just be pretending to be someone he's not at times and they even do that uh, they certainly uh, Uh, try to disguise themselves as representative of certain brands but they are not in real that is very difficult to identify so they have uh, you cannot uh, 100% eliminate it but you can take precaution measures true like the like profiling and personalizing mm-hmm. you have seen that uh, there are many sites that you, if you go there or you want to transact something they first ask you to register yourself true that's one way of avoiding uh, any sort of hanky panky hanky panky <laughs> exactly so and every e-commerce website should also have search management true that is to make to facilitate the consumer that they they can find the product they want there is you must have seen there is search exactly okay, there is always the top, a search path, search over path there. on the top of the website and i'm sure sir they must be having they should be having a content management as well there is content management okay. content management means updating the website With the latest content that the, they are having. And the latest content, like newspaper websites, have to update it every day. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, nobody would like to go there. Definitely. Similarly, if there is some change in the pricing change or the product design change, they also have to update the pages. Okay. So there is a full-fledged content management. Some people even hide it. Uh, people uh, like data entry people. They can. Uh, their only job is to update the website continuously. Okay. Okay. and there is catalog management that they some websites have put their catalogs yes so with the change in the product catalogs have also be updated okay sir uh, so how do we do the payment management when we are talking about e-commerce because uh, we need to be sure that the money that we are going to give to someone uh, in return we are going to get the product well this is the most difficult part in e-commerce because you Uh, manufacturer has not seen the buyer and buyer has not uh, seen, seen or even met uh, the manufacturer so dealing with money without seeing each other ca- is bit cumbersome okay True. so there are many methods that we will be discussing later okay okay so the next thing is a workflow management yeah in workflow management basically there are so many things involved like somebody is dealing with the uh, consumer somebody is dealing with the manufacturer or the suppliers so c- so there has to there is a workflow management True. who defines who will be doing what who will be doing who what will be doing and what? students there is also this thing called event notification and you must if you are using any social networking website you must be knowing that you get a notification of whatever event is going to happen for example if you have subscribed to a book website which uh, from which you buy books so they are going to send you a notification that our next exhibition is going to be held yes. on this date yes. or our next book fair is going to be yeah. on the next date and what is their collaboration and trading in collaboration and trading means suppliers are dealing with the uh, uh with the manufacturer okay 
that is it. Okay, sir, there is certain um, uh, payment issues yes. as already we discussed. What is the electronic payments and security criteria for whenever we talk about e-commerce? Yeah, there are two main methods, okay. First is electronic funds transfer. Okay. And in electronic funds transfer, you can transfer the funds through ATM, that's very easy. Okay. But the tra transfer of funds becomes tedious when you have to enter your credit card on the internet. Mm. Because there is always a chance of a credit card number being stolen. Exactly. Right? So there are two, two three methods like PayPal or the like bill point. Achha. They yes, they allow you to uh, enter your internet and mm -hmm. they ask, uh, even these uh, credit card companies, they ask uh, a number written on the back of the card so that they want to make sure that if even somebody knows your okay. uh, credit card number, they don't know what's on the back of it. Okay, okay, okay. Even if someone has stolen your PIN card number or something, they don't know the whole data on it. Whole your data on it. Okay. So, so many companies, they ask you when you uh, enter your credit card number, for some payment, they ask you, okay, what is the, on the back of your card? Okay, so make sure that you don't lose your card. Yes. Because once you lose it, you're going to lose all your credits. All credits <laughs> okay, sir. Then there is a pay by Vice or IP phones. Vice or IP, these view IP phones are uh, inter, uh, internet phones that okay. you directly call to the manufacturer. Okay. And since these are uh, IP phones, okay. internet phones, they uh, know exactly who is calling and they can trace back the caller. Okay. Through okay. the IP number. Okay. Okay. Then there is e-tailing. E-tailing is basically retailing uh, through internet, through e-commerce. It is just like uh, buying and selling things. Okay. okay. So there are many applications for e-tailing. Okay. And then uh, benefits of e-commerce, we already have discussed, expanded the geographical, geographical reach. Yes. And it has expanded the choice for the customers, the customer base. It has provided customer feedback, as we have feedback. already discussed. Hmm. You can shop 24-7, it's available 24-7. It has built customer loyalty, as we hmm. already discussed, because so many big brands have now started their e-commerce, e that you don't have to worry that it's only for the new ones or someone you cannot trust or rely on. And then reduction of marketing ad, ad, and ad advertising costs. costs, we have already discussed it as well, which is very true in the e-commerce. Sir, um, when we talk about so many advantages of something, there is a, a thing that necessarily has to uh, yes. face us, or we have to face it rather, and these are the issues and the and challenges. challenges. Except Obviously. for the security matters, there are certain, I'm sure, challenges yes. and issues as well. Obviously, no facility comes without challenges. Exactly. So we also have the issues and challenges with the e-commerce. And we have categorized in three, four categories. The first is technical issues. True. Technical issues, we have interoperability issue. Mm -hmm. in interoperability means that you are using Windows here, but Windows is not very common in, uh, uh, in America. They are using Apple. Okay. Apple computers, which uses Linux systems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the menu, uh, designers of the websites, they make websites in such a way that it is easily accessible by any operating system. OK, OK, true. So th that was the first challenge. And, uh, and luckily, they, c they overcame this issue through, like we discussed in previous uh, unit, OLS model, mm -hmm. right? So through that model, that uh, uh, the, they are using the same protocol, but we discussed in the previous uh, unit, TCP/IP. TCP/IP. Transmission right. Control Protocol, Internet Protocol. Since sure. these protocols are same, the same, in, the same whole all world. in the whole world, so you don't have to. Uh, fortunately, it. you don't have to worry about it, and you don't have to load drivers with exactly, every website. With every website. And then, sir, there are privacy issues as well, threats to the data, yeah. publishing, and everything related to it. In in privacy, there is an interesting thing that is called phishing. Okay. Phishing means the uh, uh, many hackers they copy the same page. Okay. They copy. They can copy the OLX page, for example. Okay, and okay. you th you thinking that it is the same OLX? Right. You can supply your. Uh, you can give your. Advertisements uh, or your business on No, OLX. not only that, you can give your private information like exactly. your credit card number. True, true, true. So your credit card number is storing that. Mm. That's called phishing. Okay. Phishing is copying the website. Uh, as it is. As it is. Okay, so it's a tricky business. Yes. You, you can't be so much at ease. So what are the perceptual issues? In perceptual issues, is uh, first thing is predictability. Mm -hmm. Like you want to make sure that you, have, you are receiving the same product okay. that you ordered. Ah, exactly. The same yeah. color, the same, same design, colors. the same style. And for that, you you should receive a confirmation email exactly. that okay, we have received your letter mm -hmm. and 
we have received your request and we are giving you this 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 thing exactly and then again the reliability issues that we have already yes. discussed and then the technical technical competence. competence the person who is designing your website knows exactly what you want exactly okay and then sir the, the fiduciary fiduciary okay. responsibility means uh, like there are people who are uh, uh, acting on somebody else's behalf like there are travel agencies mm -hmm. okay you go to the travel agency and you want to sit for the PIA okay but uh, you have not received PIA and there is a fiduciary means a per in between person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to and he will make sure that uh, you get the same facilities that uh, that uh, you would get if you visited airline okay, office okay. more challenges societal issues are always there sir. yes that is not to be confused with, confused with su suicidal issues <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you have societal issues like telecom infrastructure mm. And like for example, you are using one ISP, ISP is internet service provider. Exactly. You are using PTCL, I am using something else. Mm -hmm. And you want to make, uh, and there are different pricing formulas. Naturally they have their own uh, competitions mm -hmm. amongst themselves. True, true. So that is also a telecom you infrastructure issue. You have to compare issue. which one is giving you low cost and L good quality. L low cost and uh, good services. Exactly. First and then sir, there are access inequalities as well. Yes, access inequalities means uh, uh, the, there are people who don't have access to the mm, internet even. True. So there are internet cafe bars mm. and you can go there and use the internet, but these are also not available everywhere. Okay, so we are telling the issue as well as what is the remedy for it remedy. and how they have come across it as well. IT skills storage uh, shortage. shortage. That we just discussed, the technical competence is more or less like the same thing that you have, the, you have enough uh, competence to design your website. Exactly, and if the customer has enough uh, IQ level or enough skills to even operate a system operate and get system. things ordered yeah. on the internet, then sir, there are uh, legal and ethical issues. I guess these uh, are very tricky and you have to listen to what uh, yes. sir is going to tell us. In legal issues, like we, I discussed earlier, there are digital signatures hmm. that you have to know exactly the customer on the other end is, the, is, the, gen is exactly. the genuine customer. Genuine customer, true, true. And then the, and, uh, to make sure you also introduce the authentication okay that you you issue user ids and passwords or you can even some uh, websites want you to register yourself sign up sign there. up sign up there and uh, through registration they even ask you the, your phone numbers and addresses so that in case of any problem they can, they can approach you. you yes true and then there is consumer protection which i believe is something like they also give you some some sort of things and then you they ask you to accept it or not Yes, is there are certain uh, uh, terms and conditions that exactly. you have to sign before you can use their before product. You can use. Then sir, there are intellectual property issues. For example, I have created something, I have written an uh, article, a feature, and I want to make sure that no one is going to copy that uh, feature and say that it's written by me instead. Yes, not only articles that we call plagiarism, that is very co common that in many cases. Yeah. <laughs> Copy-paste techniques, Copy -paste students techniques that do uh, these days. Easiest way to complete your assignment. Exactly. But that is not a good thing and even there are softwares, they can Check. detect, just they can detect your uh, plagiarism. <laughs> so students, you need to be careful. They can detect which website you have used you to have copy used. and paste. It, yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, not only the uh, not only the articles, uh, people also copy software. true. And uh, fortunately, we don't have much uh, in most third, uh, third world countries are not, uh, uh, they don't have very strict copyright laws here. Exactly. So that's why you c can see the shops full of the CDs. software, CDs. CDs, exactly, which you get at, at a very low cost. And when you get the, get to buy the actual this one. Windows XP and Windows 7 that used to cost a uh, thousand of dollars, you can get for easy, you can get easily for 30, 40 exactly, rupees. Exactly, exactly, very true. So there are also trademarks and websites. Mm -hmm. Like you cannot use this trademark of Windows on your website mm. because then everybody, anybody can get confused that this is Windows website or any personal website. And then they can sue you for that. They can sue you for that. Exactly. Then there is the global uniformity of laws. Uh, unfortunately, these are laws are not very strict in third world countries. There are uniformity laws uh, that can t uh, that can take care of your websites and the protection of websites and uh, unauthorized copying of your material. But it is uneven. Uh, yes. The distribution is uneven. uneven. It means that in the developed countries, it is more strictly being observed, and the Correct. third world countries is not as being very strictly very observed. Strict. Then sir, there is link liability. Link liability means uh, uh, the, you must have seen there are many uh, links to other website on one page of website. And then when they don't ask 
for the permission first, yes. then it is linked. Then you can put a link there. Exactly. So then there are domain names. Domain names means uh, uh, you have to have a unique URL. Mm -hmm. What you call URL stands for basically universal resource locator. Okay. This www.google.com is mm. we call universal. it URL. True. And it has to be unique throughout the world. Okay. And if you want to associate yourself with that website, you have to buy the rights. You have to buy it. Okay. And basically, finish a phishing, what we discussed earlier, is uh, something uh, has to do with this uh, unique URLs. Okay. Not only they copy the website, they copy the URLs the also. The URLs as well. Okay. So, they are very tricky people. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then there is patenting business, business processes. Business processes. Business processes mean that uh, a process, certain processes you, you use, to carry out your transaction. Mm -hmm. Like in Amazon, they have introduced something that's called one click, that okay. you just uh, press on the one click mm. and the transaction will take place for you and the okay. books you have ordered will get paid. So no, no other website can use this one click. Mm -hmm. they, that is sort of a okay, okay. trademark. trademark for them. So nobody can use it one click, otherwise they can easily get confused with this is Amazon's one click or some other private. Okay, okay. So there are also like this express lane mm. for shopping carts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are digital shopping carts means that you go uh, you buy things on the uh, on the website, and uh, like you put th you put uh, things uh, when you uh, pick up from the shelf of the uh, of the mall, mm -hmm. you put it in your carts. Mm -hmm. So they are also called uh, uh, virtual shopping carts. Okay. That you click on the things that I want this, 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 and these are placed on the virtual shopping carts. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And at the end, when you want to exit, you, uh, the website will tell you, okay, you have bought this, this is total is this much. Mm. And even at that time, you have choice to ret return okay. something. Okay, so carting something carting and then it. making sure that you want to buy it or not, yes. you can even uh, exclude it at the end. At the end. Okay, that's great. So what is the role and importance of the internet? Well, its role is more or less the same as we have discussed uh, of, the internet. Uh, of, of the internet, like the video conferencing the and then sending, receiving emails and then project server. Project service is something that is very interesting. Okay. Like in project server is a basically a software that keeps tracks of your projects. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're building a dam in some other part of the Pakistan mm -hmm. and your head office is in Lahore. Mm -hmm. So through project server software, you can mo monitor that b how much part of the uh, project has been completed, who Ooh, is doing okay. what exactly. They, are, uh, they d d uh, divide the project into s many parts, mm -hmm. okay? And each person, he can, d he can enter what he has done today. Okay. So as a whole, the uh, progress of the project is being monitored. Okay. And, in and sitting in some other part of the Pakistan exactly. or even in the bird. So you don't have to be physically there physically every there. time, yes. but you can uh, monitor it. Web publishing again is the same thing. Yes. Newsletters, technical drawings, product catalogs, again as we have discussed already, business operations and management. Yeah, that is uh, also done through the intranets. Like uh, I told you that uh, you can make critical applications available like order processing mm -hmm. uh, or you can g keep track of the inventory. Okay. Like uh, your manufacturing and uh, to, keep, uh, uh, to keep a look on the inventory label that which part is uh, you need to be reordered or, or which part to be replaced. Okay, okay. So you, so ca you can communicate. You can communicate easily. And so when we talk about the extranets, uh, what is this diagram telling us basically? Extranet is a little bit different from intranet. In intranet, uh, uh, the same organization has different offices in different locations. Okay. But in extranet, you can, you, when you are dealing with the outside agencies, mm -hmm. outside your organization, okay. that is extranet. Like in this diagram, we have our office, then, then we have the internet cloud, mm. and through the internet cloud, we are dealing with the outside agencies. With some other, okay, okay. And what is sir, basically the role and the future of the extranet? I'm sure it is more or less same as the internet, internet or the internet. Yes. But Except that there are the, it is a, there are better ways to integrate the uh, supply chains. Okay. Okay. And we in the single uh, single user interface means only one person has can deal with the whole company through the okay, internet. Through the internet. And we'll be discussing more about the okay. supply chains in the later units. And there is then you can reduce the cost. It is more effective in collaboration and uh, improve business relationship. Again, the customer and the uh, purchaser relationship is again uh, been different. So and it has been improved rather. 
and the only the, the uh, another interesting thing is the flexible working hours. Yes, very true. That you are that you you are not bothered about the office timings. Nine to five times. Nine to five course. times. You can access the, your uh, outside agency's computer any time and get and get the information what you want. Okay. Similarly, they can access your computers and At get the information. Time. Yes. With this, we come to the end of today's unit. Thank you very much for being with us, students. Thank you, sir, for being with okay. us. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.